Salesforce has an entire section dedicated to PDF rendering limitations, and there are a lot of people complaining on the forums that PDF rendering uses an outdated engine that doesn't support the latest CSS or, C or HTML versions. Things like CSS Flexbox or Grids won't work, but I think that we can still create a somewhat decent looking PDF. Anyways, I wrote some code before I started recording this tutorial because I don't want this video to drag on too long. As you can see, not much is going on here. I created a public account variable and two public lists that will contain opportunities. All these variables have their getters and setters so that our Visual Force page has access to it. I went ahead and also initialized those variables in the constructor. And since the focus of this video is to show how to create a document, I decided to hard code the ID of the account record that I want to retrieve just to make things quicker. We perform a query to retrieve a list of opportunities that belong to our account and have the stage name set to closed one. And then we perform another query to retrieve a list of opportunities that belong to the account and do not have a stage name of closed one. With all that done, we can use the controller to populate the Visual Force page that I've already also created here. It's called invoice PDF view. And if we go ahead and just preview it, we see here that we just have a blank page that says invoices. So the key to this is really just the render as tag that we see here. If we set that to PDF, the page will render as a PDF. That simple. So if we go ahead and hit save and jump into our Visual Force page preview, we now see that the page looks a bit different. And on my Mac computer here, we can see that it is showing us the default PDF functionality. So we can go ahead and download it or zoom in or zoom out. Now let's go ahead and try to create a decent looking invoice PDF for our imaginary customer. So let's start by getting rid of this here. I will add in another tag called apply HTML tag, and we will set that to false just because I want to have control over that. Once the apply HTML tag is set to false, we can create our skeleton. And I'm going to go ahead and very quickly create the tags needed to display the account information. Now that we have the account information, uh, let's go ahead and fix this error real quick. Once that's done, we'll hit save and we'll go into our Visual Force page, refresh it. And we can see here that our PDF is starting to take shape. Next, let's go ahead and display the opportunity information and in this scenario, we are pretending that the opportunities are really the invoice line items. Once that's done, we'll hit save and we'll jump into our Visual Force page and reload it. And we can see a invoice summary with all the relevant information. Now it looks pretty lame. So let's go ahead and start styling it.
And now with all the styles applied, I think we have a somewhat decent looking invoice for our imaginary customer.